Hello Internet, I'm Remote Leg. In the last video, we dipped a toe in the water and upgraded our scout ship. Today, we're going to try and be more adventurous and upgrade our constructor ship. Let me start by upgrading all the basic components that are obsolete, like we did with the scout. You can come back when that's done. It's time to look at the energy panel. This is how much energy our reactors produce, and this is how much energy our ship requires when it is standing still. This is because some components have static energy requirements. They burn power even when the ship isn't doing anything. Some components require extra energy when in operation, so we need to be aware of that too. This number is green because when the ship is standing still, we are producing more power than required. Red is bad and means we don't have enough reactors on board. As we use energy to run the ship, our reactors will burn fuel to top up our energy. This means the fuel is not just for traveling, it's also used to run the ship and we will be burning fuel even when stationary and this is inconvenient. See this constructor ship drifting in space. The fuel is dropping because its static systems are using energy and the reactors on board are burning fuel to provide that energy. When the fuel reaches zero, the energy will rapidly drop to zero and the ship's top speed will be reduced to a crawl. Surprisingly, it can continue operating like this forever, even though life support has a static energy requirement of one, so the crew should all be dead. Go figure. Another interesting thing is that the warp drive still works, even though it has a hefty energy requirement. It's kind of confusing, really. We have a component that will help us with this, the energy collector. It gathers energy from the nearest star, provided the ship is stationary. We just need enough energy collectors to cover static energy usage, so our reactor doesn't burn fuel. In this case, two will be sufficient. Here is our new improved constructor with energy collectors. Notice the fuel stays constant when the ship is stationary. No energy is required to construct things. No, I don't believe it either. So we only need enough to cover our static energy usage. Notice we can build a monitoring station without burning fuel. Seriously, you need to research energy collectors as soon as possible. Here's another quirk you may not be aware of. See our constructor full of cargo ready to build. We order it to build a mining base, which it duly completes. But where has all the cargo gone? Here it is, on the mining base. The constructor has dumped all its cargo before leaving. This is not a bug. The base has these extra resources so it can retrofit without needing a constructor ship. This is good if you have many bases and want to upgrade them all, but it seems a bit wasteful of resources to me. Still, those are the rules and we have no choice in the matter. So, how to improve on our original design? We want two energy collectors for reasons discussed earlier. What about some extra construction yards and manufacturing plants? I did some tests and discovered that we can get a slight improvement only if we increase all at the same time. Adding extra construction yards without extra manufacturing plants does nothing, and vice versa. Adding more of everything gives a modest improvement. Unfortunately, these are big puppies, so we can't fit many on. Adding three more of each will reduce our construction time for a Mark II mining base from 5 months 13 days to 5 months 7 days. I told you it was a modest improvement. Hardly seems worthwhile in my opinion. So let's add two, leaving room for other stuff. So we'll add one more docking bay to load cargo faster. We're going to be doing that quite often. 12 standard fuel cells is good for constructing things further from home. 8 standard cargo bays should cover our needs at this time. 12 engines to cruise faster. 5 thrusters to get into position sooner. Enough habitation and life support to keep the crew alive, and that's about it. She won't win any races, but she can get where she needs to go. In the next video, we'll design a mining base and build it, putting everything we've learned into practice. Click the like button or subscribe to make me happy. Seriously, it helps a lot.